Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Janini and Liko show. Tonight, you're gonna. Yes. yes! This is Janini. It's your boy Liko. And we are here at a table. <laughs> <laughs> In Philadelphia. Okay. <clears throat> I started dancing when I was 15. I started kind of late. I would say I started, I started kind of late for being a dancer. But when I started, I fell totally in love with it. So I started as a b-boy. Went to the school performing arts, learned ballet, yes, in the in the tights and everything. Oh yes. <laughs> and jazz and contemporary and musical theater, just different styles. And um, I actually fell in love with dance when I was three. Yep. <laughs> so I started dancing when I was three, um, just whatever I felt like doing. And then I did um, some Greek traditional dance. Then I went into b-boying, so that was my first street style. My first inspiration is Mr. Michael Jackson. He was always, he was the, the reason I kind of started dancing. Where I came from, where I was born in Georgia, we didn't really have many things and many stimulations. So first thing I heard and saw in front of me, like in on, in TV or something, it was Michael Jackson. So I got really inspired. Um, legends, which uh, like Bob Fosse, Fred Astaire. Um, Fred Astaire. I, these people really inspire us in a, in a whole different way. They're not hip hop, but but their thinking is so beautiful, and and the respect that we have for what they did in this um, industry, just um, it's great. And we keep on inspiring I, each other too. We keep inspiring each other, and you know we keep on looking for inspiration around us constantly, mm -hmm. within the crew, outside the crew. When whenever we are at, at freestyle session or dance events. Uh, it can be even even students, even people that we teach, like they inspire us back because definitely it's just I think it's just a circle that mm -hmm. should go around. Like I don't think inspiration should always come from somebody that's better or higher than you, or you know, like oh, it can you can take inspiration from so many things around you. Being a professional dancer, you do a lot of commercial jobs. Yes. So we trying to trying to keep the balance um, in our free time. We train a lot. Uh, we have set freestyle sessions. We go to uh, to dance events, you know, to to b boy events, whatever dance events we can go to. That's that's what what keeps it going for us because we never lose the love and the passion for it because we do it every day, all day, every day. Not because, not just for for work. Is the the first thing that comes is the actual love, love. for dance yes. and the passion that we have for it. So I, if I wasn't a dancer, I really love fashion. Fashion. This I would guy. be really. Um, into yes. fashion. Nice. Um, right now, I'm studying filmmaking, so I already know if I would wouldn't be a dancer, I will also be in the entertainment industry. Oh yes, working hopefully on big movies. Yes, uh, Hollywood blockbusters. Maybe I would call Denzel Washington and Will Smith. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come to good, come to my set. Can you please play in a movie? This guy is a good actor. You know I can become a Russian mafia man or, or whatever you want me to do. You know. <laughs> so you've seen a little bit of decision uh, that Mr. Janini um, directed and that I acted in. So yeah, I mean, you know, no, but I really like acting as well. So the reason I always wanted to move to America, one of the reasons I say. Uh, it was because in my country, in Cyprus, Cyprus is it's such a small island, we don't really have a lot of opportunities. So when I used to see some video clips, for instance, um, Missy Elliott. Oh, when I your freak to, Oh, wow. When I Ooh. used to see that videos and I used to see Missy Elliott, I was like, I deserve to be on the video. I want to go on the video. So I used to learn the little accounts and, you know, um, and whatnot, you know. So actually, video clips were, for me, was like a, because I was, you know, I was so inspired by all the work the choreographers and the dancers used to do in it. For me, it was like a dream to be in one, you know? The music videos without dance, I didn't really like always. But when, when the dancing came on, I, I couldn't just stop. I just watched. I just watched and it, it, I think it was a, a hidden a hidden passion inside of me. That just Something had to happen to unlock the door. Music videos are a very big inspiration for kids all over the world yes. because you don't always have live performances you don't always have the big artists coming in 
You don't always have theaters with dance performances. So what do you do? Music videos. I mean, of course I like to watch good hip-hop dancers, but I mean, beautiful, good ballet dancers, I mean, they're just wonderful to watch, or or contemporary dancers, or Georgian dancers. Oh, yes. Um, Georgian you have traditional. Tradition. You have so many, if every can dance, right? Um, you tap dance, you have so many forms from different parts of the world and, and cultures that are just beautiful to see what, what, what we're able to do and what is out there. It's just amazing. So I think there are no boundaries for us to learn different styles. Yeah, I, th I think my uh, view on it is I agree with everything Janini said and I also want to um, add that any dance style that, that's done correctly and beautifully, it, it attracts you. It makes right. you... Because it causes dance. End of the day, everything is dance. It doesn't matter what style it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It's dance. So if you're really in love with dance and not with just choreography in the studio, then then you're able to actually be open to any style and to like any style. But it has to be done correctly, mm -hmm. um, with the correct foundation, and obviously if it's done beautifully, it attracts you straight away. So what I admire about Janini's dance style, I can say that um, his energy level is crazy, very high energy. He dances big and strong, and the thing is, his style changes every day. Like it's different every day. So I love it. I love the way he uses the music, um, facial expressions, um, level changes, everything he does. I think. He's a dope dancer, <laughs> and he deserves to be on this tour. Oh, thank you, bro. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, uh, what I like about Liko's style is that Liko, when he dances, he, he turns into a character. Like, he's he, he's so versatile, right? But he he's a very animalistic style. When he dances, the way he, the way he moves, the way he moves his body is just, it's crazy. But when you see it, you just think, like, whoa. You know, and and I I get very inspired by him. This was so much fun. Thank you for for watching. Your time to watch all of this. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Big shout out to our crew, veterans crew. We love you. Yes. Follow us on Twitter. Uh huh. Right. You will see it in the screen right now. Or yes. maybe right now. Yes. So follow us there, and we'll keep you posted about our adventures, what we do, and thank you so much for for joining us on this journey in life. Thank you. Thank you.